Have you ever had a radical liberal or a transgender person come at you like that and want to attack you for wearing something Trump or white privilege? Yes, I have. Uh, it wasn't a uh, transgender, but at the univer Ohio University, I was there with Caitlin Bennett back in 2020, okay. and they started like a whole riot. They were throwing bottles at us. They were throwing uh, drinks at us. They were like banging on the side of the truck as we were trying to leave. Yeah, it was it was pretty crazy. Pretty what crazy were you guys time. doing there? Like giving a speech, doing the Charlie Kirk style, sitting at a table saying, change my mind? Like what were you doing there that they got so upset and wanted to beat you up? Uh, we were just asking questions. We weren't even, that wasn't even one of our more, like we'd done some crazy stuff like when I, when I wore white face and the other time I dressed up and asked for reparations and I had a jar and people could make a donation to my reparations, but we cool. trolled them with that. No, we weren't even doing that. We were just asking questions. I think it was like a President's Day video where we were asking people like President's Day trivia. There was nothing super like controversial about what we did, but Ohio University is notoriously liberal and they, yeah, they went crazy. down in Athens. You know, I almost went to school there because they have a good journalism school back in 93. Thank goodness I went in the military instead. Um, what do you make of the NAACP trying to shut down free speech on that campus there in South Carolina, telling the hierarchy of the college, you better stop these students. It's a student group that is putting on a roast. I thought we still had free speech in this country. Evidently not. Well, it's, it's funny because the NAACP is the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, and uh, Kamala Harris is not black. She's not African-American. She's Indian. So why, why do they care? 